welcome back to plans on the planning here we are in my gratitude planner where i like to say thank you for everything that i have in life even the things that don't necessarily go my way because i've come to realize it's not really about me but more so what i can do for others and be an example of god's love here on earth for other people so this is where I write down what I'm grateful for, the opportunities I have to um, spread God's love to other people. And I got to make it beautiful. So when I write it down, it really looks great, basically. It really pops and really says something. So let's get these pages out and let's get started. So here we are. Um, and I have... Some beautiful, beautiful floral washi that I want to use because we're really coming into like the springtime. And then I have this super small washi that I actually just bought from Amazon um, that I just want to see how it goes basically because as you can see this washi is super, super tiny. Um, from the washi that I normally use. So the normal size washi that I use in my gratitude planner is about this big. So yeah, you see the difference. So I'm just curious to see how it's gonna go. Did I make, I mean, it was, it wasn't, didn't cost me an arm and a leg. Um, and I just loved all the colors that it came with. Um, all the different washi shapes, I'm um, not, well, shapes on the washies, but they all were about this size. So I just wanna see was this really something that I needed to buy, basically? Um, but let's get going. Um, this washi will basically take up the whole area, so there's no doubling up this week. But we still have to get rid of this week of, basically. So let's just knock that out and get going. Um, looks like... I did myself a tablet of a favor last time I used it. Now, the um, this washi is a little flapped, as you can see. So instead of going straight to the edge, I'm going to go over a little bit just so that flap doesn't get in the way of what I'm doing. And what I'm doing is I'm putting it like smack dab in the middle. Um, it's too big to actually double up nicely because if I tried to double it up it would actually really overlap itself so I'm just kind of putting it in the middle like that and I'm gonna go ahead and tear this side but when it comes to the second page this is where it gets a little tricky because I want to make sure that they even up so what I'm going to do is try to match it as best as possible which that definitely isn't it so one more again i'm going to try to match it as best as possible with the other side and i'm just going over just a tad bit and then i'm going to bring it across all right so what i'm doing is i'm just lifting up this side because I already see that I'm going to get a couple of bubbles. And then there we go. Just pressing it out. Real nice like. Alright, and what I'll do is I'll just cut off the ends. I am having the darndest time with washi today. Don't ask me why. Alright, so I'm going to get my handy dandy scissors. And I'm going to go ahead and cut these bad boys off. Just cut off the excess. And then I'm going to see how using this super thin washi works for me. <sighs> I'm a little nervous, to be honest, because like I said, it's really thin and I've never worked with something so small before. Oh gosh, it's taped down. Oh, great. All right. Ah! Okay, so that tape was for nothing. All right, but I did find the beginning. Okay. Right, let me get this tape off my skin. All right. 
let's see how this goes. So it feels like it's basically the same size as the line that I'm covering. Um, but it's so far so good. It seems to be sticking really nicely um, to the page. So I don't have any complaints there. Let's see how it tears. All right. Okay, so tearing does seem to be quite a bit of a challenge. But I'm going to go ahead and just get my scissors out and slice it that way. Bam. All right. So I did find a tad bit of a flaw. But it's nothing really to complain about. Like I said, I could just use my scissors and go about it that way. See? It actually kind of works. Now, because this washi is so small, I won't go across um, the bottom. So I'm not going to go in this area at all. I'm just going to do it on the actual days. Because what will happen is I'll wind up having to like triple it up just to make it look like something. And to me, it will kind of be like a waste, to be honest. All right, now this. Now, okay, so normally what I have been doing is cutting along the edges of it. Now, cutting in here, I'm actually cutting on the paper. And this time, because the edge is actually table, I'm just going to bring it a little further in to cut it. This way, I'm not slicing my table. Which would really suck. Because I don't want slice marks in my table. So like I said, I'm just bringing a little, 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 little bit. So I can still the paper all right and last but certainly not least ooh. all right so all in all I really like this washi it sticks pretty darn well to be honest and all I have to do is use my scissors to cut it and it's good to go so here we are with our start for my gratitude planner and now it's time to get our sticker on so I'm going to be using my Create 365 faith stickers and I just got a little bit of stuff going on. Oh, where is? I want to use one of these. Put this right at the top for like our inspirational Bible quote for the week. Um, maybe we can make out some like prayer list for Sunday, for next Sunday. I think I like that. Very different than what I normally do, but still kind of cool. So, just some people, places, things type thing to pray about. Um, but da 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 da. Um, because normally I'll put a sticker up at the top. Let me see if I have one of the stickers that I normally use. Oh, like one of these prayer changes things. Normally, I put that at the top and write out like what five things to pray for for the week. But I think it's cool to use this one instead. All right. I think this is a super cool banner for I know the plans I have for you. And I kind of want to put that here as a nice little like midweek reminder. Oh, look at this sticker that I just came across. Uh, it says, oh gosh, it's reflecting the gold. All right, 
So it says, um, chosen, blessed, forgiven, redeemed, loved. I don't know if you can see it, the goals reflecting. There you go. Chosen, blessed, forgiven, redeemed, love. Super cute. Love it. Um, and then I kind of want, you know, I just really love to keep it simple. I kind of don't want to put any stickers, to be honest, but kind of just isn't me. I like this. Sing your song. It's like, speak your truth. Sing your song. I love it. And then this nice little... Huh. I kind of want to do it this way. Believe and receive, but it gets in the way of the prayer. Of my prayer. So maybe... I'll put it down here. Believe and receive... To be honest, I really don't want to. <laughs> it looks so plain and boring, but I really don't want to do much of anything else, to be very, very honest with you. But then again, I just saw this. In all, in all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. And then you have that, which is a great verse to think about for the week Proverbs 3 and 6 hmm. and then to match just the color scheme of this I found this one which happiness is an outward expression of inward joy which I love 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 and I'm going to put it here well maybe not there because it's covers up Sunday. Maybe I'll put it in Sunday. So this way it doesn't cover up anything. Bam. Alrighty. Now what we have left let's see. I'm just flipping through my stickers to see what else I can use. Hmm. I like this, which I'm going to put on my weekend. It says, travel light, live light, be light, spread the light. I like that. All right. I'm not forcing it anymore because then it's just going to become a smorgasbord of um, stickers. It's not really following any pattern or anything like that. I'm going to work on my schemes for my gratitude planner. Um, more so just because I like to leave space to actually write. I know I say it every week, but I like to leave space to actually write. So I don't want things to crowd up my writing area. But I still want to creatively express my gratitude as well. So I have to work on a balance between that. And that's what I love about using my planners. Every week it allows me the ability to do something different and to express myself in a different way and to learn new things and to just experiment with new things in different ways that I can make my planner my own. So, but nonetheless, here we are for this week in my gratitude planner. I know it's extremely simple than what I normally do and how I normally decorate it. I mean, granted, I do keep it on the simple side, but this week it's basically bare, to be honest. Like, it, it really is on the bare side. So, that's something I'm definitely going to work on in the week to come, just to jazz it up a little bit and add a little more to it. So, maybe I can... Focus on doing things down the sides of it and coming across, or maybe just down the sides, basically. Um, 
I don't know. I got to figure it out. I got to figure it out. So, wonderfully enough, wonderfully enough, if you have any suggestions on how I can jazz off my gratitude planner but still allow myself space to write, definitely 100% comment below to give me a tablet of inspiration. Um, but if you have any questions or comments on your own, you can definitely hit me up in the comments below. You can shoot me an email and you can definitely um, while following me on social media, slide in my DMs with any of your suggestions. I'm so, so open to any type of suggestion to really make my gratitude planner pop, to be honest. So that's something that I'm trying to figure out and just work with me, okay, as I go through this journey in my gratitude planner. Um, so I'm going to get some ideas together in the meantime, in between time. Um, but you guys have a great, great, great planner week. See you guys in a little while.